What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on my video channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and I'm getting going to go ahead and jump right into it. What I've got here now is the first beginnings of my game engine and um, it took me literally days to figure out how to add a keyboard input for uh, the game. And because I was working with C++, uh, there's no good way for a Mac OS user to add keyboard input in the C++ program, and that includes mouse input. So I eventually figured out that I can do it in Objective-C, and um, hopefully, uh, without a problem, I'm going to be able to run C++ and Objective-C together in one Xcode project. So that's the next step, but... Um, until then, I've got just pure Objective-C um, setting up a uh, game input system. So my idea is to have the game controller keyboard inputs written in Objective-C and then the graphics and game logic going to be in C++. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is what I've got so far. This is uh, <clears throat> some of the code, but I am <clears throat> really excited about uh, this project, this program. So, um, as you can see, nothing happens in the program. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Okay, so uh, this is the the program so far and what I'm freaking out about it I'm so excited because it took me days to figure out how to get a keyboard input on Mac OS and see in C++ what this is objective C but as you can see when I go to press the A key my ship actually moves and that is so mind-blowing to me uh, it took me so long to figure that out, but I finally got it, and when I click the up arrow, it moves up. So, um, that's just, and I have no way to get him back down. He can't go down or, or to the right yet, but, um, that's the beginning of my, uh, game engine journey so uh thanks for following along and i'll keep posting updates on how far i've gotten and what i'm going to be doing for the engine